I have been commanded to refound the Knights Radiant. I will need to join their number if I am to lead them. He took a deep breath. This was why he had come to the top. I need you. Life before death. Strength before weakness. Journey before destination. I am the sliver of the Almighty himself. I am the Storm Father. I will not let myself be bound in such a way as to kill me. The Bridgeman spoke of oaths given, and of each order of knights being different. The first ideal is the same. After that, each order is unique, requiring different words. I know the second oath I am to make. I don't need to be told it. The thunder rumbled. It sounded like a challenge. I will unite instead of divide, Stormfather. I will bring men together. Thunder silenced. Very well. Go, Bondsmith. These words are accepted. Dalinar fell to his knees. A few glory sprints swirled around him, but Odium batted them away, and they faded. The most important step a man can take. It's not the first one. It's the next one. Always the next step. Something stirred inside his fist. He opened bleeding fingers. He somehow found a golden sphere. A solitary glory spring. If I pretend I didn't do those things, it means that I can't have grown to become someone else. Something stirred inside of Dalinar. A warmth that he had known once before. A warm, calming light. Unite them. Journey before destination. It cannot be a journey if it doesn't have a beginning. Thunderclap sounded in his mind. Suddenly, awareness poured back into him. The Stormfather, distant, feeling frightened, but also surprised. Dalinar? I will take responsibility for what I have done, Dalinar whispered. If I must fall, I will rise each time a better man. Unite them. Glory Spren streamed around Dalinar. Thousands of golden spears, more Spren than he'd ever seen in one place. They swirled around him in a column of golden light. Dalinar thrust his left hand to the side, plunging it between realms, grabbing hold of the very fabric of existence. The world of minds, 
the realm of thought. He thrust his right hand to the other side, touching something vast, something that wasn't a place. It was all places in one. As he stood with arms outstretched, holding to the lands of mind and spirit. He closed his eyes, breathing out, listening to a sudden stillness. What are you? Galinar opened his eyes and knew what the Parsh woman saw in him. Swirling clouds, glowing light, thunder and lightning. I am unity. He slammed both hands together and combined three realms into one.